just today we were shocked, we we're still shocked by the sudden passing of the San Francisco public defender, Jeff Adachi, um, the highest ranking elected official of Japanese descent in the city. Um, I was exchanging emails with him till 1.30 yesterday afternoon because he was supposed to present our filmmakers with um, certificates from the city, Board of, Su Board of Supervisors certificates. And as he's done before, he was gonna graciously come say a few words uh, as a filmmaker himself um, and present the certificate. Um, sadly, uh, he passed away from cardiac arrest yesterday. Um, really a shock um, to us. Um, to many, he was a tireless uh, social justice warrior. Um, he originally became a public defender inspired by uh, the writings of investigative reporter K.W. Lee in his hometown newspaper, the Sacramento Union, who wrote a series on the um, Chinatown murder case of um, that Cho Su Lee was uh, convicted for and later exonerated. As a young Asian American activist, he and others became involved in what was the first national pan-Asian movement um, in the country, um, the Cho Su Lee Committee, that spawned a lot of different activists who are still involved Today, Warren Fubitani, the assembly member, was one of them. Um, Jeff Adachi was certainly one of the most visible. Um, before that, um, well, after that, he, he was always consistent, uh, a, a social justice warrior, but in the 90s, he, uh, he followed another passion of the arts um, and started the Asian American Arts Foundation, which was founded to give grants to up and coming Asian American artists. And they, to do that, they created this Golden Ring Awards, uh, which was dubbed the Asian American Oscar. So they honored people like uh, Chow Yun Fat, uh, John Wu, Ming Na Wen, and others, all the big Asian American artists at the time, at a time when they really didn't have much visibility. It was years before Fresh Off the Boat um, and Dr. Ken, and uh, now you see many Asian Americans on TV. Um, but that was an important uh, venue to celebrate our community artists. Uh, many of you may remember that in 2002, he was going to run for his um, boss's old seat, Jeff Brown, as a chief public defender of the city, one of the only elected public defenders in the country. Uh, and Willie Brown, mayor at the time, um, uh, appointed Kimiko Burton to be his boss, even though she had not done many uh, trial cases. Uh, and then Kimiko Burton, one of her first acts was to fire Jeff. Um, and so this got a groundswell of support. And every, that election, almost every uh, person in the Democratic Party establishment in the state was for Kimiko Burton. Uh, his father was the most, one of the most powerful po uh, politicians in the state. Uh, but Jeff had people. Uh, and it was certainly the most inspiring election that I've seen. And I remember being with him on election night, midnight at his headquarters, and seeing the great sense of relief that he had, um, that he won. He wasn't gloating, but um, he just achieved a possible dream. He's been active in the state of Japan town movement um, as well. He dabbled in writing. He wrote a book called Maniwala Boy, fiction about his parents' hometown of Walnut Grove. Um, very rare. If you find it, you should get it. Um, and we were talking about creating this KW Lee Reporting Fund in, in honor of KW Lee, his, his inspiration, and, and mine as well. Um, and we were, you know, we had uh, big plans for that. Um, but anyways, um, we are dedicating today uh, to Jeff Adachi, uh, filmmaker, social justice warrior, um, arts supporter, and all around good guy. Um, he was a man of principle. He's a man of conviction. He was a fearless champion of, uh, of giving a voice to the voiceless. Um, anyways, thank you.